This week, class began for a unique group of students, and in some cases, the students are teaching the teachers. It's all part of a relationship between Elgin Police and Judson University. CBS 2's Sarah Maki was there as they started the semester and a program that could save lives. Come on in, grab a seat, grab a seat. In a first floor classroom at Judson University. Good, how are you guys? Good to see you. Officer Chad Benavidez. Bradley, how are you? Prepares for his 3 p.m. class second year in this role, though he never trained to be a teacher. A lot of new faces, a lot of old faces. These are Judson's RISE students, a program that prepares people with intellectual disabilities to live independently and seek employment. All right, I'm going to hand you guys some paper. Uh, you don't need it right now. No. A Judson alum, Benavidez got the idea to adapt Elgin PD's police academy for this program after responding to a scene with a RISE student while on duty. People with disabilities, students, these students with disabilities are like up to seven times more likely to have interactions with police. So if anything, these should be the people who we're, you know, teaching more. Benavidez's curriculum involves bringing in other officers from different units, teaching crime scene forensic skills, fingerprinting, self-defense. He gets high marks from students. He is a great guy for sure. And from staff. He's already family, and for him to come in and say, I've got something that I think would be really valuable to the RISE students, we were very excited about the opportunity. There are a couple dozen students in this year's class. Benavidez saying this program is a learning experience on both sides. I'm not just standing up there teaching. They're teaching me a lot of stuff too. Um, a lot of their questions, a lot of their concerns um, bring to light a lot of things that I can do better. This class meets once a month, every month until May. On that last class, a field trip to the Elgin Police Department. In Elgin, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. For him to take that initiative, right. like he sees this need is really incredible. And the fact that he's an alum is nice too. I think this is, we had another story last week or so where an alum came back and is paying it forward and helping the students where they once went to school themselves. It's great to see. It sure certainly is.